Jocko Willink, the Navy SEAL commander that wrote an uh, amazing leadership book called Extreme Ownership, highly recommend it. He said, there is no growth in the comfort zone. There is no growth inside of your comfort zone. Another best-selling author, John Asaraf, he said, a comfort zone is a beautiful place, but nothing ever grows there. It's a barren land when it comes to growth. So all growth is outside of our comfort zone. Disciplines of success are rarely comfortable. Have you noticed? It's like, if you want to grow your business, how do you grow your business? Is it just sitting on the couch in the lotus position and hoping, wishing, and praying that you get some calls coming in? No, you got to be proactive, not reactive. You got to drive versus drift, which means daily prospecting, booking appointments with top producing realtors, for example. Is that comfortable? Heck no. Now, maybe over time, you get comfortable being uncomfortable, such it ain't no thing like a chicken wing and you eat it for breakfast, lunch, and dinner because it started as a discipline and you did it in spite of the fact it wasn't comfortable because you're more committed to your dream than your comfort zone. And then eventually, as you cultivate that habit over time, it's so richly rewarding. It takes on a life of its own. It builds so much momentum that it's easier to do than not do because it's become a habit. It's moved from a discipline to a habit. And once you own the habit, it owns you. So these disciplines of success like daily prospecting or exercise or early to bed, early to rise makes you healthy and wealthy and wise as the late and great Betty Franklin once said, or in my case, because I'm crazy like that, a cold shower because Hey, the more you shrink, the more you soar. Operation shrinkage, right? But for real though, the energy I get from the cold shower is like next level. I'll get into the cold shower and I'll be like two out of 10 in terms of energy. I get out of that shower and it's like, I'm 11 out of 10. I am electrified, right? It's like game on, let's go, ready to walk to a brick wall. But notice that's not comfortable. A daily growth plan of any kind is probably not gonna be very comfortable. So we have to get comfortable being uncomfortable. That's one of the things that top producers have cultivated, a habit of getting comfortable being uncomfortable. If we only do the things that are comfortable, life will be mighty uncomfortable. Just look at the people on the streets. Now, I know they have their story, and I know they probably have trauma and had terrible childhoods. So, you know, we need to take that into context. But generally, the people that are down and out of life, that are miserable, that are depressed, that are in the bottom of the barrel of completely living a dismal life of existence tend to gravitate towards their comfort zone and they live in the prison of their comfort zone. Those who have ascended to excellence in any walk of life, they have cultivated that habit. So if we only do the things that are comfortable, life will be uncomfortable. But if we do the things that are uncomfortable, life will become mighty comfortable. So it's the habit of doing it in spite of the fact we don't feel like it, we're not in the mood, you know, we don't really feel like doing it, maybe tomorrow, right? It's so easy to get seduced into manana syndrome. Maybe I'll do it tomorrow, maybe next week. It's never now, right? The road called someday leads to a town called nowhere. So we don't do the things that are hard so that life will be easy. Most people think that. They're like, man, I'm going to go out there. I'm going to make things happen. I'm going to get to the gym. I'm going to do the prospecting. I'm going to you know, make those calls. I'm going to book those appointments. I'm going to do those daily disciplines so that I can chill on the beach for the rest of my life. No, that's not how it works, right? You don't go to the gym once and you're fit for life. That's not how it works. You go to the gym so you can build more muscle, so you can handle more weight. So we don't do the hard things so life is easy. We do the hard things so we can do even harder things, so we can take on even more, so we can expand our capacity even more, so we can make even more of an impact. Because if we're not growing, we're dying. So we got to keep growing. And there is no growth inside of our comfort zone. All growth is outside of our comfort zone. We got to expand that comfort zone. And that's what it looks like to become the best version of ourselves is to keep expanding our comfort zone upwards and outwards. Because the alternative to that is 
stagnation, which breeds stagnation and rot of the soul. So we want to stay under the spout where all the good stuff pours out in the growth zone, which is always going to be outside of our comfort zone. 